Certainly that we are going to launch this 5G oriented and powerful solution for the future railway mobile communication. As we all know that GSMA is coming to the end of the life cycle. So uh, USA and many railway operators in Europe, in China, uh, they are doing some pilot, they are trying this uh, FRMCS technology in their test lines and trying to figure out what's best uh, for their own country. So as GSMA, the bandwidth is limited and uh, there are many components involved, difficult to introduce new services and also the ecosystem cannot support GSMA anymore in a longer uh, run. So uh, the FRMCS is around the corner and Huawei is very active to participate in the USC to join the standard uh, writing uh, process. So you can see now that uh, we have this uh, FRM technology, which can be 4G and 5G uh, compatible because the LTE, we consider it's a very mature uh, technology, widely deployed, and it will coexist for a long time with 5G. Uh, and also Huawei, we, as uh, Mr. Yu just mentioned in the speech that uh, uh, we have this experience with the freight line in China using the LTE technology to do the multi multiple uh, locomotive synchronization use LTE. It has been successfully in operation for seven years. And uh, also the X system, the cable radio, the dispatcher, the component uh, terminal is quite mature. So in some countries, if the spectrum or the uh, end user, they prefer use the 5G uh, iPharmist, they can do it with the LTE technology. And all the hardware for the base station and core network is ready for the, for the 5G, so it can smoothly evolve into 5G by some software upgrade, it will save your invest. So that's the reason that we are here today, that uh, to witness this, that we are going to officially launch this uh, FRMCS, and also you can see uh, we have this uh, white paper, printed copy, uh, you can get there at our entrance, and also you know that uh, we have this barcode, uh, you can download the uh, electronic version of this uh, white paper of FRMCS, which showed the industrial trend and the network structure, the 4G, 5G compatible structure, and what service FRMCS will bring us, not only the signaling, but also many like intrusion alarms, uh, track side IoT, uh, CCTV camera, all the IoT sensor equipped uh, with uh, on board. 